Okay guys, so here's this week's makeup tray. As most of you know, we are already packing up, so the new items are limited. Let's start off up here. So CoverGirl recently came out with a new liner. This is the Get In Line Matte Black Liner, so I'm very excited to try this one. Sephora released the Easy On The Eyes eyeshadow palette. It's $145 value and you get all of these colors in here, so stay tuned for a tutorial and review and swatches of this one. Um, in the Sephora Advent Calendar, I received this blush. It's a beautiful peach color. It's number five, Sweet on You, so I'm going to be using this this week. Inside the Sephora Favorites, I got the Bobbi Brown, what is this one called, Shimmer Brick? Yeah, Mini Shimmer Brick in bronze, and it's beautiful, so I'm going to be using this as like a bronzy blush and highlight for the week. I've been dying to try this kind of contour brush by It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe Mega Fan Brush number nine. So it just looks so fun. Some lip products that we're going to be trying out this week. This is the CoverGirl Melting Pot Metallic in Extra. It's like a bronzy shade. I have a lip swatch video going up of all the Melting Pot products from CoverGirl. So stay tuned for that if it's not up already. They also have some new Melting Pot mattes. So this one's called Ballerina. It's a nice like peachy pink color. So we're going to try this one out this week. For concealer, I'm going to be using my... Um, Pretty much the one that I go to all the time when I need a sure thing, my Tarte Shape Tape. This one is light neutral. A newer mascara. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I have tried this before. It's beautiful. I have a dedicated review. No, I shouldn't say this. This week I'm going to be trying the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. This is their newest mascara, so stay tuned for my thoughts on this mascara and how it works. It's been a while since I've tried a Kevin Naquan foundation, so this is the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. I have the shade Light EF03. Um, I've heard good things about this one, and I haven't tried this in a long time, and they recently sent this to me, so we're going to be trying this one this week. A lot of my foundations are packed up, so I'm kind of short on foundation, so it's a good time to try that one. I picked this up a while ago because I heard this is the best setting spray ever, so the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, so we're going to be trying this one out this week. I recently did the Back to Mac where I traded in six empty products for two lipsticks, and I picked up these shades. I have, what is this one called, Paramount and Naturally Transformed. Let me give you swatches. Okay, so Naturally Transformed is like a yellow tone brown and paramount is like a bricky red color so i was looking for like a yellow toned brown lipstick this is not quite it but it's close and it's what i have for now so i'll be using these this week here are the swatches of the two mac lipsticks that i'm going to be trying this week for an early christmas gift i picked up this um glaze and eye gloss quad at Kohl's when it was on sale I think for like $16 plus a coupon so there's some fun shades in there that I am dying to try I recently picked up the Vizzy Art what's this one called the neutral matte palette I have not tried any shadows by Vizzy Art and I've heard they're amazing so I picked this one up on I think Mercari or Poshmark of course it's been sanitized so I'm excited to try that for bronzer, I'm going back to a good one that I haven't used in a while. It's the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for Lighter Skin. It's a really nice light bronze, which is what you want kind of in the winter, light and natural. For powders, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Powders. I use the Fair Too Light for all over my face, and then I use the Medium to Deep as like a bronzy powder. And then for under my eyes, I've been using the H&M. Uh, True Matte Finishing Powder in Porcelain, and this is a really good under eye setting powder. Also has a really nice mirror inside. So this is what my makeup tray looks like for the week. Stay tuned for my wrap up at the end of the week. See you later, guys.